Bada boom, Relix guys in the room. How you doing guys? This is Nick here and I'm going to be doing a DVD review of Raw 15th Anniversary. Uh, the, uh, so from 1993 to 2008. And bonus disc, you get the first ever episode of uh, Raw from the Manhattan Centre. And as you can see, uh, cool uh, cover art, Brett. HBK, Austin, Cena, Triple H, Rock, and The Undertaker in his uh, Western Mortician days. Fireworks. And without further ado, let's get into the review. Right, so, disc DVD 1 was 1993 to 1997. Raw Begins. From the 11th of the 1st, 1993. An epic match between Mr. Perfect versus Ric Flair. Loser leaves WWE match. 18th of the 1st, 1993. It's definitely a must watch if you intend on buying this set. A parking lot brawl. Uh, 10th of the 5th, 1993. Uh, yep. Razor Ramon versus the Kids. 17th of the 5th, 1993. I think that's the one where uh, he upsets uh, Razor, if I remember rightly. Shawn Michaels versus Marty Jannetty, the Intercontinental title match, 17th of the 5th, 1993. Definitely another uh, match on the list of mine, if you intend on buying this DVD. It's an uh, epic title match. Gorilla Monsoon fires Bobby the Brain Heenan. 6th for the 12th, 1993, an iconic moment. Brett Hitman Hart vs. the 123 Kid, WWE title match, 11th for the 7th, 1994. It's a, another must-see uh, match if you intend on buying this set. Search for The Undertaker, 8th, 1994. Must be August of 1994, yep. Kings Court with William Shatner, cool little segment. Ninth for the first, 1995. Uh, Shawn Michaels vs. Owen Hart, 20th of the 11th, 1995. Vader attacks WWE President Gorilla Monsoon, 22nd of the first, 1996. It's a cool uh, segment when he attacked Gorilla Monsoon. That's just insane. Back in the day, a guy like Vader attacking a bigger head like uh, Gorilla Monsoon. Shocking moment that was. Touch of Gold Dust, 27th for the 5th, 1996. Uh, Pilmer's got a gun with Austin, that's an iconic moment. Uh, 4th of the 11th, 1996. The USA Network were not happy that this stunt took place and they threatened to throw McMahon off the network unless they apologised. That's a shocking moment in its own right. Mankind vs. The Undertaker, no holds barred match, 9th for the 12th, 96. That will give you a little uh, taster of the Mankind, uh, aka Mick Foley, Undertaker feud, which was a uh, definitely one of the greatest rivalries of all time, in my opinion. Sean loses his smile, 13th for the 2nd, 1997, where uh, Sean storyline had to vacate the title due to an injury that was a cool moment in its own right ninth wonder of the world 17th for the second 1997 i think that's when china debuted and attacked marlena that was a cool uh, shocking moment the original ecw invasion 24 for the second 1997 definitely check that out if you intend on buying this set there's well, uh, show you the Raw where ECW invaded uh, Monday Night Raw and they had ECW uh, type matches taking place throughout the broadcast. Definitely a moment to remember that one. Owen Hart versus the British Bulldog for European title match from the 3rd of the 3rd, 97. Definitely a must see encounter again if you intend on buying this set. Both men have a competitive nature and either guy could have won. Definitely a cool moment that one. Brett speaks his mind, 17th for the 3rd, 1997. 
flag match. Uh, United States versus Canada, 21st of the 7th, 1997. Stone Cold stuns McMahon, 22nd of the 9th, 1997. Cool uh, angle that one with Stone Cold and the Vince McMahon having their classic rivalry of all time. Definitely uh, the beginning of the iconic Austin McMahon feud with that stunner on the boss. Brett screwed Brett. 17th of the 11th, 1997. This was after the Survivor Series, the Montreal incident, and uh, Vince McMahon, Mr. McMahon character was officially born when he uttered the words, Brett screwed Brett. Definitely a uh, turning point for WWE when the debut of the evil boss, Mr. McMahon, was born. Uh, definitely, uh, again, this is definitely up there with the Nintendo Minus DVD. A sable in a sack, 8th of the 12th, 1997, that angle where Mark Mero humiliated her and had her wear a sack, a potato sack over her body and other stuff. It's a cool little angle. Gold meets wind. Gold meets water. From 15th of the 12th, 1997, Christmas with DX, 22nd of the 12th, 1997, where they uh, moon everyone with their butts. DX, definitely a shocking moment. Very unheard of back in them times. Uh, DVD from 1998 to 2002. The Titan and Austin segment, 19th of the 1st, 1998. Definitely, again, a must-see segment if you intend to wind this set. Uh, like the bit where uh, Austin and Tyson square off. That's an iconic moment I'll never forget. DX Special Report, 22nd... No, sorry. 2nd of the 2nd, 1998. It's uh, a cool moment, that one. Dumpster Diving, 2nd of the 2nd, 1998. Formation of the new DX and uh, the kid aka X Pop comes back. 31st, no, 30th, sorry, of the 3rd, 1998, where uh, Shawn Michaels was injured and Triple H assumed the leadership responsibilities of DX and brought back his uh, long time uh, confidant X Pop to uh, reform the new DX. Cool moment again if you intend to buy this set. Stone Cold vs. McMahon, 13th of the 4th, 1998. Cool uh, moment with a bit of rivals. <coughs> DX Invades WCW, 27th of the 4th, 1998. This is definitely a uh, top of my list of uh, top raw moments. This one, DX Invades WCW. As I say, on the 27th of the 4th, 1998, as uh, yeah, they invaded the Norfolk scope and uh, declared war on WCW. Definitely a moment that will go down in history. As I say, if you intend on buying this DVD, definitely check that out, as uh, that was a uh, shocking moment invading WCW in its own right. DX Nation 6th. The 7th 1998 where they mock the nation and uh, Jason Sensation does a great job of mocking Hoeing Hart with that uh, dope ass nose. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Zamboni 316 28 for the 9th 1998 where Austin uh, destroys McMahon's uh, Zamboni. That's a cool moment. Debut of Mr. Socko 5th of the 10th 1998. In hospital where uh, Mick Foley brings his uh, iconic uh, puppet to uh, see McMahon. <laughs> That's a funny moment. And he's just trying to give McMahon's uh, little boo-boo a kiss and McMahon was like, no Mick! And then he whistled. <laughs> Definitely a cool moment seeing the debut of uh, Mick Foley's... Uh, partner in crime, Mr. Socko. Mr. McMahon's uh, St. Mink Corvette, 12th of the 10th, 1998. A cool moment uh, where his Corvette gets ruined. 
Bang 316, 19th of the 10th, 1998, where he's, uh, where Austin uh, points a toy gun at McMahon and he literally wets himself. That was a cool moment. <laughs> De definitely, definitely must check that one out, guys. That's a shocking raw moment in its own way. Uh, Mankind wins the title for the first time. Fourth for the first, 1999. Cool moment again. Stone Cold Beer Truck, 22nd of the 3rd, 1998. Another cool moment. Uh, as I say in its own way. Monster Truck vs. Town Car, 19th of the 4th, 1999. Uh, that's pretty cool. Mean Street Posse vs. The Stooges, 10th of the 5th, 1999. Probably the weak link of this set, in my opinion, nothing too special. The Greater Power Revealed, 7th of the 6th, 1999. Uh, didn't like that angle at all. Uh, made no sense since being unveiled as the Higher Power. It would have done better, as I say, if someone from uh, Faker's Past was unveiled as the uh, Higher Power. Someone like Jake Roberts, that would have been epic if he was unveiled as the Higher Power. Or uh, someone like Brother Love, or even... Uh, yeah, bro yeah, Brother Love would have even made sense to have been unveiled as, as I say, again, he's a guy from Taker's Past. Made no sense at all, Vince being unveiled as the higher power, as I said in a, my WrestleMania 15 DVD review. Definitely a uh, angle that made no sense at all. Would have done justice, in my opinion, if it was someone from uh, Taker's History. Like Brother Love or Jake Roberts. Y2J, the iconic one where Chris Jericho debuts and interrupts the great one. A uh, cool moment, that one. 9th of the 8th, 1999. Rock, this is your life segment. 27th of the 9th, 1999. Mick Foley uh, set, introducing the... Uh, Rock with the This Is Your Life book and brought out all these uh, people from Rock's past like his uh, high school sweetheart, his home economics teacher and his uh, sports coach and they all get a taste of the Rock's venomous insults. <laughs> definitely a classic moment that one. Uh, again, if you intend on buying this DVD, definitely check that segment out as that is probably one of the greatest of all time. Big Boss Man Sympathy, 8th of the 11th, 1999, where he uh, they did a storyline which I think was pretty tasteless in my opinion, where Big Show's dad really did pass away in real life due to cancer, and they had the Big Boss Man uh, do this uh, storyline where he was uh, basically insulting the Big Boss Man, no, sorry, uh, Big Show's uh, father, and they did this he did this speech where he said, With deepest regrets and tears that are soaked, I'm sorry to hear your dad finally croaked. He lived a life on his own terms. Soon he'll be buried and eaten by worms. But if I could have a son as stupid as you, I'd have wished for cancer as I would die too. Which I think is a pretty tasteless uh, angle considering Big Show's dad did really die. What the hell was you thinking, WWE, doing such a tasteless angle like that? Surprised the big boss man even uh, agreed to do this angle because boss man was a uh, consummate professional in my opinion back in the uh, golden uh, age. He was a real professional. He should have known better to have declined that angle. Hated that angle. Definitely a. Uh, if you intend on buying this DVD, definitely skip this segment because it's pretty tasteless, as I say. Uh, insulting the guy's dad that really did pass what happens in vegas 29th of the 11th 1999 that's the infamous uh, ceremony where uh, triple h drugged stephanie and uh, got married to her in a uh, drive through uh, chapel it's a shocking moment definitely check that out if you intend on buying this set Jericho, not the new champion, 17th for the 4th, 2000, where he beat Triple H, and then the, uh, this, the, uh, yeah, it got thrown out, 